Chances are in your algebra class, if you've recently been studying parallel lines, there's a good chance that you've also probably begun studying perpendicular lines. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So we'd say that two lines are perpendicular if they meet each other at a right angle. A right angle is basically a, a 90 degree angle. Okay, this is a 90 degree angle. So let, let me show you what this looks like graphically. Uh, let's say one line maybe look like this and we were going to draw a line perpendicular to that. So for example, if here's your other line, uh, this line would be parallel. Parallel means they have the same slope as you recall. But perpendicular means not only do they cross like this line or this line or this line, but they actually cross in such a way that it makes a 90 degree angle exactly with the other line. So to me that looks like maybe somewhere right about here. And you'll notice right here where these guys cross, um, it's going to make a right angle. It's going to make a 90 degree angle. All right, so that's what perpendicular means. Uh, another word you might see, maybe your instructor might use this word, is instead of perpendicular, he might use the word orthogonal. Orthogonal also means perpendicular, so he or she your instructor might say orthogonal instead of instead of perpendicular. All right now that's all well and good if we understand what perpendicular means but given two equations of lines how would you know if they're perpendicular to each other because we can't even really trust our eyes because you know I don't know if I could tell the difference between like 89 versus like 90 or 91 so we also need like an algebraic way of telling whether two lines are perpendicular or orthogonal to one another. So here's how we know. Um, it, it, this says the slopes of two perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals of each other. These are two important words. Commit these two words to, to memory. Negative reciprocals of each other. Let me explain what that means. Let me come back over here to, to these two lines. Let's say the blue line has a slope of what we'll call it M1, slope 1, slope of the first line. And the yellow line, let's say it has a slope of M2, M2. So what's the relationship between M1 and M2 to prove that these guys really do meet at a right angle? Well, it says the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Here's what that looks like. Your slope M1 will be equal to negative 1 over m2. Okay, now let me explain that for a minute. Uh, I assume you know what reciprocal means. Reciprocal means if you have a fraction, you'll flip it. So instead of 3 halves, you'll have 2 thirds. Or the reciprocal of 7 would be 1 seventh, etc, etc. So not only are they the reciprocals of each other, but also one's the negative of the other. So in other words, one will be positive and the reciprocal will be negative. And you know, that makes sense, you know, because if you think about it, if one line tilts upwards, then the perpendicular line to that one will go downwards, of course. They can't both be going upwards. So we'll just check their two slopes and verify that they're the negative reciprocals of each other. So let, let's try a couple examples. The first one's a pretty straightforward one. Um, they're already in slope intercept form, which is nice. The first line has a slope of negative three halves. The second line has a slope of negative two thirds. Now those are reciprocals of each other, three halves and two thirds, but what's the problem? They're not the negative reciprocal to, uh, reciprocals of each other. If one is negative, the other is not positive or vice versa. They don't have differing signs. They're both negative, in fact. So these are no, uh, these are not perpendicular with, with one another. Now typically though, they'll make it a little bit more challenging than that. They'll make you work a little bit. Usually you'll have to put it in slope intercept form. So let's, um, let's try this. We'll, we'll do this one in green and we'll do this one in blue. Okay, so the green equation, if we solve for y, we'd get y equals negative 2x plus 5 when we subtract 2x to the right-hand side. 
And the blue line, if we solve for y, we get negative 2y equals negative x minus 8. Divide both sides by negative 2, we'd get y equals positive 1 half x plus 4. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is plus 4. So let me box this in, and let me box this one in. And now we can more easily talk about them being perpendicular or not. So what do we need to look at to tell if they're perpendicular? Just the slopes, just the negative 2 and just the positive 1 half. And I'll ask you, are those negative reciprocals of each other? A absolutely. If you took the negative reciprocal of a half, you would get negative 2 over 1 and as opposed to positive 1 over 2. So this is, yes, these two guys are perpendicular to each other. And this, like I said earlier, this is a very common problem where you'll have to write the two equations in slope-intercept form. So anyways, that's what perpendicular means.